Hello viewers, how are you all? A few days ago, I gave a video on the channel about how to make a gig welder with high frequency starter. But many people have commented on the video about how to build the circuit and the simmer coil and its schematic. So this video is actually made with these things. So guys, first uh, I will tell you how to make the simmer coil. There is a ferrite stick inside the simmer coil as a core. This ferrite stick I got from the radio flipper shop was I was actually a radio antenna. This ferrite stick length is 7 inches and uh, its diameter is 10 mm. I wearing uh, for wearing the coil I use uh, copper wire, electric copper wire. Uh, the thick uh, uh, wire is, uh, is actually used for secondary wire and thin wire is actually used for uh, for the <coughs> primary wire. Primary is uh, you can see guys. This is uh, only two mm, and the thick wire is only four mm. Four mm, and uh, the turn of the primary coil is ten turns, and secondary is uh, twenty one turns. Guys, I also has the welding holder wire but this is too thick and its cover is too heavy to hold uh, so that's why i use the thin as secondary wire but uh, its uh, copper diagram uh, diameter is also same as the thin on it's a uh, 4 mm and that uh, uh, is also 4 mm it's the uh, difference uh, between this is rubber insulated insulation you can see guys and guys if you don't have a, a ferrite stick like uh, mine you can use uh, this core for simmer coil but uh, it is difficult to wiring the wire inside the core that's why i use this core but uh, if you don't uh, find uh, this uh, ferrite core then you can use it or thing and i want to tell you one more thing guys if you don't have a flyback like this you can use a motorcycle ignition coil like this in my hand uh, this is the same process and this is actually same of the uh, of the flyback uh, now i am see how to connect it and how to work uh, so <coughs> wait sometimes guys uh, this connection is uh, too easy uh, the code is a uh, on connection and the uh, and here a pin uh, outside uh, this is the second connection line and uh, on another side uh, the core uh, a connection line and the wire the thick wire is the secondary to guys you can see guys this is actually the same as flyback if you don't have a flyback you can use this ignition coil don't panic guys and guys if you really want to make this uh, circuit uh, you have to be patient and uh, uh, now I will tell you the capacitor, the, the transistor I used in this circuit. You can see guys the value of the capacitor in front of you. Guys I don't have uh, capacitor uh, more voltage uh, volt uh, you can use you can see guys uh, uh, 2500 
bold capacitor you can use more voltage but not less and this capacitor is uh, only 400 capac 400 voltage only two capacitor and this is only uh, two resistor of 10 kilo ohms and a transistor which is triode uh, guys you can see uh, on thing guys here uh, circuit uh, main uh, spark gap where uh, in the uh, wire is uh, very dangerous but this side uh, the similar coil uh, flow electricity flow is not uh, dangerous you can touch by hand you can see part uh, the uh, circuit uh, in the circuit uh, spark uh, where uh, there is very dangerous so don't uh, touch by hand there okay guys now i show you the schematic of the circuit this uh, in the this is the schematic of the circuit and the red circuit is two point is ac input and this is the uh, 15 watt on kilo ohms ceramic resistor and these are the four diode which use as breeze rectifier these two section uh, is black and in, in negative and these two section are positive which is directly connected with the second pin and black is directly connected to the number first pin of the transistor and two and here to 10k kilo ohms resistor are connect red and black section and other side connect a 22 volt zeno diode ne uh, positive side and this uh, zeno diode negative side is directly connected to the third pin of the transistor so and a diode is uh, the same of the four uh, diode is connect uh, positive to positive and negative to negative this is this is a very simple schematic of the circuit guys and a flyback is used a 10 pin flyback uh, the uh, flyback uh, first pin is connect the direct connect to the direct negative terminal and sixth pin connect to the positive terminal via a, a capacitor which is 400 volt 100 5j and there is a, a nine pin is connect the spark gap clap gap and uh, the cable flyback cable is connect the spark gap other side and this spark gap first side is going to the die is going uh, going the <coughs> simmer coil primary section first pin and second spark plug connected with a capacitor the similar coil second primary section I has and secondary is directly connected one side is um, a negative port of the welding machine and positive uh, po positive directly connected workplace and similar coil other side is connected to the tick torch and guys uh, the tick turns has a switch which i uh, connected the uh, input section of the ac uh, mainly the switch is used for on off ac on off the ac so you can um, use the schematic for making this circuit it is very easy and i hope you will understand pretty good so guys uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel and share with others thank you guys for watching this video